Public hearings, number one, conditional use permit, 2018, 10-01, Mass Tech Network Solutions, Verizon Wireless, for a telecommunication tower. Ms. Logan. Mass Tech Network Solutions, on behalf of Cell Co Partnership, doing business as Verizon Wireless, is requesting a conditional use permit for a telecommunications tower. Property is located at 2455 Happy Creek Road and identified on tax map 21 as parcel 94. They are requesting to build a 199 foot telecommunications tower. This is off of Happy Creek Road near the intersection with Morgan Ford and Dismal Hollow Roads. Um, near the Virginia Power Electrical Distribution easement. <coughs> the Planning Commission recommended approval of this application with the following conditions. The height of the tower shall be limited to a height not to exceed 199 feet. The tower shall be constructed using a stealth technology to look like a monopole as indicated by the applicant. The applicant shall maintain the existing forest barrier around the tower as a natural buffer. The tower shall be inspected every five years and certified as safe by a private firm contracted for by Verizon. A copy of the inspection report shall be submitted to the planning department. The site plan for the tower shall be approved by VDOT. And Warren County shall be granted the right to place up to three antenna in, a, in an agreed upon location on the tower. These antenna locations shall be rent free. The applicant shall provide adequate space in the compound and electricity at no cost to the county. Um, they did agree, the applicant did agree to allow space on their tower um, for Warren County Fire and Rescue to place the antenna. And um, the property is located within the Rockland Agriculture and Forestal District, which is up in for renewal in December 2020. We did feel that it would not be detrimental to the district due to the location of the tower, um, which the applicant will show you during his presentation, but it is um, right next to the power lines. And there is this type of use already approved on the property. Um, there is co-location on the property, on the power lines. So the public hearing has been properly advertised. All adjacent property owners have been notified. I'm happy to answer any questions as well. And the applicant has a short presentation. Anyone have a question? I, I have a question. Yes, um, this is Verizon Tower. Uh, I'm told that nobody gets cell service from Front Royal to Blue Ray from Verizon. Is there any hope for us out <laughs> South River? Um, in this area, I'm not sure if there's going to be a for you all, but um, the applicant has coverage maps he'll show you. Um, this will help with the area kind of when you're 166 and you don't have any um, coverage in the Desmond Hollow Road Earth area, um, Morgan Ford Road area. Um, but the applicant does have coverage maps that he can show you. So Verizon will be at the top of this tower and there's a space for two additional carriers. It won't reach down. It won't reach to the, the South River. <laughs> I think it reaches that far. Is it going to be a tower down the other way, going down Happy Creek Road toward town? It does cover the um, the Leach Run Parkway area and the, the town area. The applicant can show you the coverage maps, and you'll see how far it extends. But um, this was actually a site identified in the county's telecommunications plan that we did back in 06 and, and then again in 2012 we did the broadband study. Um, so this was a, an area identified where we need coverage. Um, so, but again the applicant has the coverage maps so until you see those you'll see how far widespread it goes. But it is more for the Happy Creek area and okay. Shenandoah areas. Any other questions for the slogan? If not, probably the hearing is now open. Uh, would the applicant like to speak, please? Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. My name is Frank Stearns. I'm an attorney that represents Verizon Wireless and MassTech. With me is Mike Water from MassTech and he's heard your directions, and I'm sure he'll be passing along to, to Verizon. Um, as uh, Taryn Logan's done a very nice report on it, but I do have some slides because you're talking about cellular tower, really the only impact is visibility. So it's a visual issue. Um, I mean, there's no school children, there's no drain on traffic, there's no implication with the uh, public services. It's primarily a visual issue. Um, according to the 2016 survey, the wireless industry, there are now more wireless subscriptions in America than there are people. 
Uh, most homes have multiple devices, and more and more people are using wireless devices in their homes instead of wires. Um, for the first time in history, over 50% of U.S. households only have wireless. They don't even have a wire in their phone anymore. Uh, and currently, 77% of all 9-11 calls in Virginia are through a wireless device. So there's demand on the system, and that's why they are starting to locate more of these facilities closer to residential areas because people and residences are using them. Um, and there's more of a demand for the spectrum, and each cell site can only handle so many calls at one time or so much data download, uh, and then they have to drop in another cell to help it out. And you'll see where there's a cell in um, Front Royal that this will be assisting. <coughs> this uh, site um, was, low, was shown in the 2012 and 2006 plan, a telecommunications plan that you uh, contracted for. Uh, it's a commercial tower, tower development plan area number four, uh, Happy Creek. It's zoned agricultural, and these facilities are permitted in agricultural districts with a special with a commission use permit. The site's very large, it's 164 acres, it's wooded, it's isolated, so it's a good location for this type of facility. It's adjacent to a 150-foot wide Virginia power line easement that already has many power poles in it, varying in height to 46 feet to 150, 131 feet. This is 199 feet. Uh, and I'll show you in a minute, the topography requires us to be at that height to shoot over the hills uh, to get to the east, to, uh, to the areas I want to cover. At the base will be a 576 foot square foot fence compound where there'll be unmanned equipment, there'll be no employees, there's no customers, there's no traffic there except a technician will visit once every six to eight weeks to make sure everything's in proper operating order. Um, there is the... Uh, <coughs> The yeah, site right there. Uh, this is Happy Creek Road, I-66. As you can see, it's a very large parcel. On, on the <coughs> uh, we will be locating in the wooded area over here. That's where the address is, but the, the site will be over along uh, in the woods here. The objectives are to provide and improve wireless coverage along the I-66 corridor between Monastery Road to the east, which is really the mountains, uh, and Winchester Road to the west, Route 522, as well as the residential and agricultural areas from the Shenandoah River to the north and John Marshall Highway to the south. Uh, that would be the cell area. It's going to provide traffic relief to already overused cells that are serving that area. Um, and we will provide the co-location so that the other uh, competitors can locate on these facilities. Uh, they've been working quite closely with one another, the various companies, the Sprints, AT&T, and T-Mobiles. <coughs> if they can get somebody else to build their site for them, they're very happy, let's put it that way. And <coughs> Verizon try hard to find a facility somewhere in this area to locate, they didn't have to build one. But the power line poles are not tall enough, um, and also the new style of antenna, there's already one um, set of provider on one of those towers, but they're using the old style antennas. The new style antennas are too big and too many powers not letting us on their towers anymore basically because they, they're not strong <coughs> to hold them. So we um, had to find a location. Um, oops, yes, this is a what is known as a propagation map. The kind of salmon color that's um, medium range service. Uh, the green is a little bit better. The blue is the best service. As I said, there are already sites here, here, and here that this site will be uh, adding to, and it's located about that. Um, I'm sorry, it's located here. Um, and if it goes on the air, um, it'll provide coverage, much better coverage through here. Uh, this will be even better, and then these areas do have coverage but not quite as good, and uh, I'll go back. Um, as you can see, it's going to be improving primarily in this area here, which includes the Le Leach Run Road area where your hospital is in Japan. Um, and this is a 700 megahertz uh, coverage, <coughs> which is your standard wireless for data and voice. They will also have antennas on there for what they call advanced wireless service, which is a higher frequency. So it's faster and provides more data service, but it doesn't have the same kind of reach. 
Uh, right now, there is no advanced wireless service in this area of the county. There is, of course, in Front Royal. But if this is approved, that will be the advanced wireless service that, that's added uh, to Warren County. Um, as I said, the, the site is about here, and it has to be as tall as it is to get over the ridge lines here to, to get down in this area to the east. That's why the 199 feet are needed. Uh, this is a site plan that we will be filing for the building permit, but this shows you the compound road will come off of uh, Happy Creek. There's already a road there. Uh, a VDOT entrance permit is already granted for there, and they will come back here. There's uh, two Dominion Power boxes right there. The next to it will be the 576 square foot fence compound with the unmanned equipment. Uh, this is the full parcel, as I said, it's very large, 164 acres. Uh, and as you can see, we're kind of isolated back here uh, along the power line easement, which runs like this. Um, this is a close-up of the, the compound with the equipment uh, sitting on slabs. Uh, they're about the size of a refrigerator, basically. Um, so the, nobody will be inside them. Uh, they're unmanned, and, and there's obviously no customers. And then this is the profile of what the monopole will look like next to the power lines. <coughs> Again, this is where we'll be located in the wooded area. That's the power line he's with there. This is Happy Creek, I-66. We went out and flew a balloon uh, and took pictures to do simulations. Um, this picture was taken from Happy Creek looking um, northeast, and the facility was seen there over the trees. This is a little further along at Loop Road down uh, Happy um, Creek. Uh, the facility, the bloom is seen there through those trees. You can see the power lines slightly through there. This one was taken uh, to the east, looking back due west uh, from the Nassus Run Road, and the facility is there. This was taken from uh, Morgan Ford Road, looking southwest. Uh, and the facility can be seen on the trees there, and there, of course, are the, are the power lines. Um, and then this was taken right at the base, just as you go into the facility, um, and uh, the power lines are 131 feet or 40 feet, depending on which line you're on, um, but there's quite a number of them. In summary, uh, we uh, request approval of this conditional use permit. Uh, we have met all the standards of the zoning ordinance, uh, sections 180-13 and 180-63, as staff has noted. Um, your 2006 telecommunications plan uh, has made <coughs> an appropriate location for a telecommunications facility. The Planning Commission recommended approval on December 12, 2018, with the conditions, and applicant has no objections to those conditions. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Does anyone have a question? I just have one. What is the height of the fence at the base of the tower? Eight feet. Eight foot. That's a standard fence. Okay, thank you. I just have one quick question. The, uh, my house on Shenandoah Shores, I can look out and see that the tower has a little red blinking light. I think it's so the aircraft doesn't hit it. Is this going to have one of those? No, sir. No. Below 199 feet, not required to light it unless you're at a certain distance from a takeoff cone, they call it, a landing takeoff cone. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. If not, the public hearing is now open. Mr. Hutchins, <coughs> anyone signed up? No, sir. Is there anyone that would care to speak on this item? <coughs> Please come forward. Name and address. Good evening. My name is David Means. I live at 210 West First Street, Front Royal, Virginia. And I was just wondering, is that 164 acres going to be a conservation easement, a permanent one, or what's, what's the plan for all that land? Yes. Uh, well, we're not the owner of the property. We're leasing space. So I can't answer for that. Oh. So it it's, would be open? It's actually owned by the space. Okay. We're just leasing space on it. I see. But this would not prohibit it. Okay. Uh, second question. Uh, the entrance road, does that 
Could you push forward? Oh, oh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Does the entrance road lead, it looks like it's straight into the facility from the main road. Um, is it through the woods? Is it open land? Does it go under the existing power lines? Um, and I'll get to why I think there's a better way. Ms. Lowe, do we have? But it's already there, and it goes really kind of under the power lines to go up um, to the new site. I mean, it starts out up underneath power lines. But it's already the existing entrance that's there right across from Dismal Road as you come up. And you look right across it's the entrance. Okay. Um, well, that's pretty much open. You don't, you're not going through the woods. Uh, otherwise, I would say a, a curved linear road would probably be more aesthetically pleasing, uh, but uh, this is an industrial case. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Is there anyone else that would care to speak? Please, name and address. And we are limited to three minutes. I should have said that before the gentleman, but he just made it three minutes. Oh, I just have a question. My name is Melanie Salem, it's 95 Murray's Drive. Um, I was just curious to know, is this going to be 5G? Is it a 5G tower? That's the intent. Are, are we all? There yet. <laughs> but it will be 5G. It will be 5G. Are we all aware of the health concerns that are being caused by 5G? Anybody? Tumors, cancer. Um, extreme radiation. Extreme radiation. It, I, I can. You have to face forward. Okay. Are all of you guys aware of the health implications that are associated with 5G? Could we explore that a little bit before we? vote on that with um it, it increases cancer rates and, and tumors and, and putting something like that in a residential area concerns me i would think it would concern the homeowners around it as well do you have anything to say about that well mr chairman please there are no health threats it's been studied probably more than any other science. No, no. Please, can we have some decorum? We do not call out from the audience. This is radio waves that have been present for hundreds of years. Is what they operate on, on the same frequencies that UHF TV used to operate on, the TVs operate on today. There really is no danger from any radiation in these facilities. It's been, as I said, studied. Many times there's huge portfolios on it at the FCC, at the uh, other federal government agencies. And let's, I mean, this has been around now for probably 35 years. 5G? Just, not 5G, radio waves. 5G is still radio waves. Well, it's slightly different though, and there are entire Facebook pages and websites and other studies that do conflict with what you're saying. So, you know, why don't you put your complaint in writing and we can send it to the planning commission. Okay. We can take a look at it from there. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would care to come forward? Please do.
mass tech network solutions, Verizon wireless for communication tower with conditions as recommended by the Planning Commission. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It is passes.